On Wednesday, the Nationals front bench fell ill at a traditional welcoming ceremony after downing a full bowl of sake, which is supposed to be sipped, not sculled. The Shadow Minister for the Pacific says he was dehydrated and a day earlier had drunk five bowls of kava in Vanuatu. Mr McCormick insists he won't hesitate to again sample the traditional Pacific drink. And we are now going to be speaking with Michael McCormack, who joins us from Wagga Wagga. Firstly, Mr McCormack, just how are you feeling? Rumours of my death, as Mark Twain once famously said, are greatly exaggerated and very much uh, looking forward to uh, Christmas, as I'm sure all Australians are. Still, you were very affected there in Micronesia. There were grave concerns. You did have to go to hospital. Oh, Miriam, no question. And uh, if only the instructions had have come that uh, in the South Pacific, yes, you can uh, scull the uh, kava, but in Micronesia, uh, best to just sip it. Uh, I didn't want to disrespect the locals. They'd put on a great celebration. They had gone out of their way to make sure that this was going to be an event to remember. And I certainly made it an event to remember. <laughs> Well, you haven't um, taken it uh, badly and we hear that you, you know, you, you won't be um, holding back from also participating in what is a traditional welcoming um, part of the ceremony uh, in many Pacific communities. But have you learned your lesson now about the variation that can be had with Carver? Oh, I don't think there's probably any viewers watching this, Miriam, who probably haven't had their head in the bowl at some stage, but uh, unfortunately, uh, mine was on the world stage. Uh, it was, I don't want to take it away from what was a great bipartisan trip. And I know Penny Wong, Simon Birmingham, Pat Connor, and I did some really good things. And I know the Pacific leaders were very welcoming. They were very appreciative of the fact that this was Australia speaking as one voice. And uh, I now know that you don't drink uh, Sakao as, uh, in, in one hit. Uh, it, uh, it really knocked me for six, no question. Uh, but I've learnt that uh, just little, little sips, just gentle little slips sips and uh, uh, we'll, we'll certainly have uh, some memories from it. I think we should have an international carver day, uh, make it uh, December the 14th and, uh, and celebrate it right around the world. <laughs> Well, it is interesting that you point to that because um, we do have here in Australia a carver import trial program, which is underway. Which was brought to you by the former coalition government, I have to say. So you, you support um, that continuing? Oh, look, I certainly do. And, and South uh, South Sea Islanders uh, love their carver, uh, drank in moderation. Uh, you know, it's, it's a relaxant. It's uh, uh, something that they enjoy doing. It's traditional. And uh, I was just trying to upkeep the, uh, the traditional... Uh, uh, what, what would you say, the, the tradition of it so that I didn't show any disrespect, so that uh, uh, we made sure that uh, our Pacific friends uh, knew that we were drinking, knew that we were having uh, uh, that very much respect for their cultures, for their uh, customs, and uh, that's what I was doing. And uh, so, so certainly uh, made sure that uh, I drank it. I just drank it uh, too quickly and in, uh, and in one gulp. Well, we do have um, those pictures there of you when you were in Vanuatu, joined by your uh, <laughs> your cross parliament colleagues as well. Um, and and I, I note as well that uh, you know this is something that's part and parcel of the travels and yep. and the it um, certainly is. the process when you're you're engaging in those sorts of diplomatic relations in the Pacific. Um, you mentioned there, of course, you know the purpose of the trip and and those um, yep. relations that we're strengthening and building across um, our Pacific region. So in your view, what, what's your overall assessment of, of how that visit went before you uh, had that untimely exit? <laughs> Look, the signing of the Vanuatu Security Agreement with Australia is, is important. Uh, you, I don't think we can uh, uh, understate just how important that was. Uh, I know the, uh, the new wharf and the police patrol boats, which were funded by Australia, are going to mean the world of difference for Port Vila, for Vanuatu. I know the million dollars of assistance that Penny Wong announced uh, to help uh, Micronesia with their COVID recovery is going to be of such importance. But the fact that we were a bipartisan delegation, the fact that we were there uh, as one, speaking as one voice for the Pacific, uh, it's a contested area at the moment. Uh, they face a lot of challenges and Australia is there to back them and support them every step of the way. And the Pacific leaders certainly now know that. They know that uh, when Australia speaks, it speaks with one voice. They know when Australia visits, uh, we visit uh, as, as one delegation. We weren't, from, we weren't from different parties. We were speaking as one parliament, and I think that was a very, very good thing. And well done uh, to Minister Wong and, and all the others on the delegation. And certainly our DFAT officials, uh, they made 
certain that uh, it was a successful trip. And um, Mr McCormack, in your capacity as Shadow Minister uh, for the Pacific region as well, we have the elections currently underway in Fiji. There have been some concerns being raised by opposition parties around the way that the vote counting has been conducted. How important is it for the election in Fiji to go smoothly? It's vitally important. I know that uh, we had a, a number of uh, politicians, uh, Matt Burnell, from South Australia, Claire Chandler and others who were uh, helping to oversee those elections. I know that Australia plays a big part in, in helping, the, helping the process. I was in Vanuatu and the Royal Australian Air Force played a mighty part in the October 13 election there to get ballot papers out to very remote islands. Look, it's important that we have a, a stable, consistent Pacific and that's why Australia will always stand ready to help in any which way we can, uh, whether it's helping with the election processes but not getting too involved, of course, just helping the, uh, the protocols and the processes and making sure of course, always that uh, if there are disasters in the Pacific, that we're the first there uh, to help out with uh, fresh water, uh, defence assistance, uh, medical supplies, whatever is needed. The Pacific countries know they can always rely on Australia. Michael McCormack, it is wonderful to see you hearty and hail. Thank you so much <laughs> for having uh, the opportunity to speak with us here on ABC News. And I might go and have a glass of water rather than uh, a carver. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Thank you.